Keir Starmer will show his true colours on Brexit later this year, when Prime Minister Boris Johnson will come back from Brussels with a trade deal. The General Secretary of the Labour Leave campaign has claimed in an exclusive interview with Express. Labour's four-day annual conference, the first under Sir Keir Starmer's leadership, ended this week. Renamed Labour Connected, it took place online and did not feature votes, but the party's major figures still gave speeches and took part in discussions. Sir Keir called on Labour to rediscover its patriotism and pride in Britain to woo Red Wall voters who backed Mr Johnson at the last election. The Labour leader used his first conference speech to make a clear distinction between his leadership and that of Jeremy Corbyn by affirming the party's support for British values and what the country has achieved. Speaking from Doncaster, Sir Keir said, let's be brutally honest with ourselves. When you lose an election in a democracy, you deserve to. You don't look at the electorate and ask them, what were you thinking? You look at yourself and ask, what were we doing? The Labour Party has lost four general elections in a row. We've granted the Tories a decade of power. The Tories have had as many election winners in five years as we've had in 75. It's a betrayal of what we believe in to let this go on. It's time to get serious about winning. Despite his efforts, in an exclusive interview with Express.co.uk, Ashford Councillor and General Secretary of the Labour Leave campaign Brendan Chilton argued Sir Keir's strategy might not be enough to restore Labour's reelectability. Mr Chilton claimed Labour still needs to demonstrate that it has actually listened to Labour Brexit voters. He explained, it is all very well saying let's get Brexit done and let's get a deal. But Keir Starmer can only accept a deal if it is favourable to this country. Your job as Prime Minister or Leader of the Opposition, just like Lisa Nandy said, is to put Britain first. You do not put Britain first by staying in a customs union where you lose control of your trade. By handing over jurisdiction of Northern Ireland to the court because that's giving away part of your country. You do not allow free movement because you don't put British borders first. 